It's been a year that I moved into this room and I haven't cleaned my closet in forever. So today what I'm going to do is clean the shit out of my closet, bring in some organization and give you a tour of your life. No, not of your life, but I want to give you a good tour. But before that, let's get cleaning. So this is how my closet looks from the outside. You may have seen it in my room tour video and this is how it looks from the inside. It's pretty messy, I wouldn't lie. Literally everything's everywhere and I have only three hangers that needs changing. My clothes need some folding and reorganization. All of these mess needs to be cleared out. So yeah, let's get down to business. my gosh i can't believe my closet is clean it hasn't been this clean in a year just looking at it is making me happy anyway now that my closet is clean and tidied let's unbox a few things <laughs> Okay, so there has been a few questions about my closet again. I'll try and answer as many as I can. So this is how my closet looks from the outside. The inspiration for it all has come from hours and hours of scrolling on Pinterest. On the outside, I have two mirror doors. I have extended the closet above to expand storage and have also given some shelves on the side for the books. On the inside, as you have seen, I have four closet shelves on one side. The picture here has five, but I have four, all of which are pushed to one side. And I have a hanger rod on the other side. You can build in another rod below it if you want to, but I have a few trench coats that are lengthy and I did not want a rod here, here that would obstruct my coats. On the top of the closet, I have a huge shelf for extra storage. This is the original measurement of the closet. My closet is not built to this measurement. This is in the shape of a diamond. I'll just turn it over so you can visualize it better. Pretty cool, huh? 
such a unique shape anyway so the diamond point goes towards the wall and the diamond point that goes towards the wall is around 3.7 feet and the part that connects it to the door is around 1.8 feet and this part which forms the door is around 2.7 feet in length so the closet in my room has been squeezed down to 3 feet and this is because of the window the length of the wall till the window is about 3.5 feet I have left about 0.5 feet of the wall between the closet and the window. If I had built the closet to the original measurements, it would come down to somewhere here and that would mean that the light in the room would be compromised a little. Since light was my priority, I squeezed the closet to 3 feet and the bridge that connects the door to the closet wall has been squeezed down to 1.18 feet from 1.8 feet which is precisely 14.2 inches so this is a mistake since hangers usually are 16 to 17 inches this did not cross my mind while i was building it so keep that in mind if you choose to build it in your house this might actually pose a problem i sort of found a way to work around it but yeah keep it in mind and the length of the door for the closet was originally 2.7 feet which I just squeezed to 2.6 feet. This was done for two reasons. One, I wanted a huge mirror that would reflect the light to the entire room and brighten it up. Secondly, by reducing the length of the door, the accessibility of the closet would be compromised. So that's why the big door. Alright, so I have finally folded all of my clothes and have laid them out here. Pants, my dresses, my tops, Indian wear kurtas and leggings and there are some things that needs to go on the hanger and then there are my bags i have laid them out like this so that it's much easier for me to just pick them up and throw it i mean not throw it uh, put it in my closet so yeah let's get them into the closet Spin together 
So let's start from the top. Above on the shelf, I have two bamboo baskets in which I have a few pairs of kurtas and leggings that I don't often use. They are specially kept for temple visits and for places of tradition because you have to respect the culture. So right here below the shelf, I have all of my coats and jackets. This one here is my absolute favorite of all time. It's a sheer crop top with embroidery. I believe it's handmade. Anyway, let me pull it back. Um, so I have sorted out and hung them in order of length. So I have my trench coat back there which is long and then I have a few winter coats back there as well. And then I have my sweater, pullovers, cardigan and then up in front I have my crop jacket that I often use. Next to it on the shelf is where I keep my pants. I think a few are still in laundry. This is all I have for now. I have a few jeans here and then I have quite a few treggings i love treggings like they are my thing so i have diversity here i have one in white a few in play and a few black ones which i absolutely love them jeans i don't love as much and then above here i have my track pants lately i have been loving to wear track pants they are just so comfortable and nice i love them and that's pretty much all in this section And then in the second shelf, I have my dresses. I have just a few of them. I decluttered before moving in. So this is all I have right now. I have only kind of kept my favorite pieces of what I had. So this one here is my favorite. You may have seen it on my Instagram. I love this dress so much. It's so beautiful. It's an off shoulder bodycon. And this one below it is my birthday dress from last year that I haven't still tried i was a little busy that day so anyway this is all the dresses i have for now and next to it i have kept a belt of one of the dresses under the dresses in the next shelf i have my tops and these are all the tops i own right now like this is what i wear all the time tops and trekkings tops and trekkings they are my thing i love them so so I have sort of color coded them from below. These are my favorites. I have a few in nude shades, white, yellow, gray. I think these are my favorite colors. This is something I realized looking at them. And then I have a few in blues and some more that are random. So these are all the tops I have. And under them is my last shelf where I have kept Indian occasion where I have very, very few of them. Like I have a skirt here and then some suits and stuff. I don't have a lot because I honestly don't like going to weddings and stuff. No, I'm not an introvert. It's just, it's boring to me and also too noisy for my interest. But I have a few here because sometimes you can't miss. Like for really close friends and family. This one is my favorite of all. It's a long skirt. I think it's by a designer. I'm not sure though. Anyway, this is all I have and next to it I have my small collection of bags that suits my requirements. So these are the bags I own. I have kept them in an order of usage. They are also mostly handbags. I have a white one, a few in black and this small pink one is my favorite. And then I have an orange bag and a clutch and on this side I have my hats. I love wearing hats and these are a few. My black hat is missing, I think. I don't know where it is. I'll have to find it. I so a few of you were asking me how is it that I close my door and open it since I don't have a door knob. So these are push openers. So when you push, they sort of hold up. And if you push again, they push the door forward. So I just push my door and it opens up. And on this door here, I have hung my battery for display. This one is one of my first beret in probably what's going to be a collection of it. I bought this on Amazon and it's so good. I'll try to link it down below. You guys already know how much I love yellow. So I naturally bought it in yellow. I love it so much. It's so soft. So that's everything in my closet. But if you have been wondering where is it that I've kept my nightwear and intimates and stuff, this is where it goes. I don't actually intend to show it, but just for the record, this is where I keep my nightwear, activewear, intimates, swimwear and other stuff. And in that drawer is where I keep my accessories, body mist, skincare products and stuff like that. It's quite messy, so I'm going to show you some other time when it's clean. So that was my teeny tiny closet. I know it's quite small, but my little buddy there is trying to do the best he can. Also, it's not like I have a lot of things, so it may be work. Anyway, let me know in the comment section what you thought about this video and do drop some video ideas down there because it really helps you know what you want to watch next. And if you found this video to be helpful, then give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in my next video, which is next week. But until then, ciao!